Hi, I'm Stephen Walker, a Maths Subject Advisor at OCR. Here's a short presentation on using a calculator to solve matrices questions. There's an explicit requirement that the use of technology should permeate the teaching and learning in the new maths qualifications. Learners will need to have access to a calculator that will handle at least 3x3 three three matrices in further maths. Learners will still be required to be able to carry out the basic manipulation of matrices and the calculator functionality can be negated by either including algebraic variables or by the wording of the instructions in the question. H235, paper 1, question 3, has a number of parts that can be solved using a calculator. The key feature of using a calculator to solve matrices questions is to define each matrix before starting to perform the calculations. Once all the matrices are defined, then calculations can be performed. On the right hand side of the screen you can see the um, screenshots of using a Texas TI-30X Pro scientific calculator showing defining a 2x2 two two matrix and then having defined the two matrices that are going to be used you can then do the calculations. There are similar functionality on the Casio FX991EX class Wiz. Here's the mark scheme for this question. As you can see part 1 and part 2 the calculations can be done on the calculator there are marks awarded for interpreting those results that have been obtained from the calculator. Part 3 has some variables so candidates will need to do some basic matrix manipulation and calculations um, but in the final part of this question cubic equation has been formed. Now this can be solved using a calculator. The important point that candidates will need to bear in mind when solving this part is having used their calculator to find their values for K, there are marks awarded for putting the calculator solutions back into the context of the question, so in this case writing their answers in matrix form. Sign up for the webinar 4pm on Wednesday where I'll be going through other questions on the sample assessment material and also discussing ideas for using technology in the classroom for both maths and further maths.